still lots of time before the cafe opens. Hmm, guess it's a good morning to clean out the fridge. Oh, that's right. I cleaned it yesterday. <laughs> hmm, clean the oven. Oh, forgot. <laughs> cleaned it the day before. Looks like I'm all out of things to do. Hey, Pupcake. Think we should go strawberry shopping? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> Pupcake! <laughs> hey, come back! Pupcake, come back here! Good morning, Strawberry! Good morning, Plum! Strawberry. Morning, Blueberry. <laughs> Good morning, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Hi, Strawberry. Morning, Lemon. Mmm, what's that fragrance? Oh, my new lemon hair scent. Like it? Oh, delicious. Great! I have a new strawberry scented shampoo that'd be perfect for you. Stop by later, I'll give you some. Where are you off to? Soon as I can catch Pupcake to Berry Glen for some strawberries. Need anything while I'm there? Oh, uh, yes. Pick me a few sunflower seeds. You got it. Pupcake! <laughs> there you are. Now please don't budge. I gotta get some sunflower seeds for orange. Bye, Strawberry Shortcake. You are out early today. What is all this? My latest, greatest invention. A plant food that grows berry bitty fruits and vegetables. No more rolling apples all the way into town. Now they're just the right size for us. Mmm. Very delicious, too. <laughs> Thank you. But there's only one problem. <sighs> My berry bitty harvest is a bit more bountiful than I expected. Thank you. We've got to get these to Orange's general store before they spoil. Wait till she sees these. She'll be so excited. 
I'll help you, Barricade Bloom. Thimbles, check. Thread, check. Berries and bobbins, buttons and bows. Check and check, check and check. Can I get you anything else? No, thank you, Orange. This is all I need. Alrighty then. And thank you for shopping at Orange's General Store. Where there's a place for everything and a thing for every place. Morning, Orange. Good morning, Barry Kinville. And what can I get for you today? I'll need three bolts, six nails, 12 pails, a bag of rags, a box of socks, and half a dozen wooden blocks. Got it. Oh, what kind of wood? Well, I hadn't really thought much about... I have pine, cherry, oak, mahogany, peach, apple, elm, ash, beech, hickory, ebony, cedar, poplar, maple, spruce, sycamore, teak, rosewood, rubberwood, cottonwood, walnut, and willow. Um... I'm having a special this week on willow. I'll take willow. Good choice. And will there be anything else? Got any sunflower seeds? Ooh, all out. But a fresh shipment is coming in today. Oh, Orange, I got your sunflower seeds. See? If we don't have it, we'll get it at Orange's General Store. The place where there's a place for everything and a thing for, um, every some place. Morning, Orange. Might you have room in your store for some delicious, nutritious berry bitty fruits and vegetables fresh from my berry own bitty garden? Wow. Um, yeah, uh, sure. Of course. Bring it on. You know, this is a lot of stuff. Can I give you some help making room for it? Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. I can make room on my own. Well, okay, but if you need any help rearranging... Don't be silly, Strawberry. Organization is my specialty. Okay, bring it in! <laughs> now, Custard! <laughs> This is not a toy. <laughs> wow! Do you think the store with a thing for every place has too many things and not enough places? Looks like Orange could use our help. Every time I ask, she says she's got it under control. Psst! Do you want to see what under control looks like? Okay? Well, sure. Sun, 
solved. Orange, are you sure there isn't anything we can do to help you? Thanks, Strawberry. But I've got the whole thing under control. Whoa! Uh, so <laughs> refreshing. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to the cafe for breakfast. <laughs> Gotta run! I'll keep some waffles warm for you in case you get a break. Okay, who's next? Quiet here, too. Not a customer all day. How about you? Nobody since you guys were here. The whole town's at Orange's store. I've had so much spare time, I reorganized all my potholders, alphabetized my spices, and now I'm sketching some designs for a bedroom makeover. Orange has got to be swamped. Too bad she won't let us help her. I know. I think she's sensitive about accepting help. She feels it's like admitting she failed. Did she ever come by for breakfast? Nope. I finally had to give away the stack of waffles I'd saved for her. At least they didn't go to waste. Poor Orange, she's gotta be hungry. It's almost lunchtime. I'm bringing her a sandwich. Least I can do. See you, Lemon. Okay, later. Galloping gooseberries! Radishes and rutabagas. Who wanted the radishes and rutabagas? You know what? Tomatoes, potatoes, turnips, and peas. Who asked for tomatoes, potatoes, turnips, and peas? Sandwich. Thanks, but I can't take a lunch break just now. Papayas and peaches! Who ordered the papayas and... Right here, right here, right here! Just a bit busy. Wow, you really worked out a great system here. <laughs> Hi! Those are for produce only. Nothing beats painting in a watercoloring book. <laughs> Extraordinary talent! You may want to enroll him in an advanced painting class. Would you like 
like me too. Oh no, no problem. I, I can handle it. Quick, wrangle those radishes. Catch, Blueberry. Thanks. Great, more crates. Why are we whispering? Because if Orange finds out we're helping, she'll get upset. Oh, that's just silly. Helping each other is what friends are for. And I have plenty of spare time today. Look how pretty all the vegetables look in these crates. Well, she's got it into her head that the mess came from her store. And if she doesn't clean it herself, we'll think she isn't good at running her store. It's not her fault. There isn't enough room for all this stuff in her store. Yeah, what you'd need is a whole other store. Hmm. I smell something. Uh, mangoes? No, an idea. Huh. Hi, Orange. Be right with you. Almost done here. Everything under control. Good, because I desperately need your help with something. What is it, Strawberry? What do you need? Um, it's kind of personal. Do you have five minutes for a cup of tea at the cafe? Um, well, sure, I guess. Um, I'll just close up for a few minutes. Great. Don't worry, I'll have you back in a flash. I sold Berry Can Bloom's next Berry Bitty Harvest in a sort of a um, produce marketplace. But only if you'd be willing to part with it. A marketplace? What a great idea! <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you doing this for me? Well, I'm, I'm doing it mostly because it would be fun for me. And fun for me, too! Not to have to run my store and sell all those fruits and veggies. I don't know why I didn't let you help me before. I'm so wiped out. Do you think the girls would mind helping me get my store cleaned up? Done! Oh, you are all so sweet! Thank you. You always help us, Orange. Why wouldn't we help you? Well, we all need to help Strawberry. Cause she's opening up a new marketplace! We're on it! <laughs> well, looks great, everyone. I think that's enough for one day. I can take it from here. Thank you so much for helping me get started. You're welcome. Sure, no anytime. Strawberry. Goodbye. See you tomorrow, Strawberry. Emergency! What is it, Berrykin Bloom? It's my new plant food that shrinks the fruits and veggies to our size. It also shrinks the time from seed to harvest. I've got a new crop coming in only two weeks. Oh, no! This marketplace has to be built in half the time. Girls, come back! your help! Hey! All right, we've got till dawn to find the source of this power outage. Let's get digging! Excuse me, Strawberry. Mm. Can you read this, please? I don't know if the most practical game for a 
nighttime campout is pickup sticks. <laughs> I thought it said trail mix. <laughs> I got the trail mix and the cereal, celery, soda crackers, wheat crackers, the crackers with pepper sprinkles, the cherry likes, firewood, playing cards, sunscreen, extra socks, bandages, sandwiches, hand sanitizer, trail mix. Oh, wait, I said trail mix. Mm. Um, apples, two dozen. Orange, this is just an overnight campout. They'll have the power fixed by morning and we can move back into town. <laughs> Meanwhile, time to head for the peace and quiet of the wilderness. been fun. Listen, I have an idea. Remember how much fun we had on our relay race and treasure hunt? Let's make the creepy woods into a challenge. We have three tents. Let's break into three groups and see which group is brave enough to camp out the longest. Ooh, I dare. I'm in. Me too. I love an adventure. Lemon, you and I can share a tent. We'll be team one. Tent Lemonberry. Plum? Team two rocks. We'll be tent berry, plummy, and orangey. <laughs> <laughs> Raspberry, cherry, we're team three. Tent very tough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is gonna be so very fun. We'll show them what team three is made of. <laughs> well, okay. It's on. That should do it, Tom Tom. Thanks for helping. Well, let's get back on the road. Hmm? What is it, boy? Ah. You smell something? Oh, I know what you smell. Ah. We're not far from Berry Bitty City. How about stopping by and visiting our friends there? I have a book I can return to Blueberry. Hope it's not too late to pop by. Mud pies. How'd we end up at this dead end? I must have turned the wrong way. It's so dark out here. I don't get it. I could see Berry Bitty City right in front of us. Then all of a sudden, I couldn't see it anymore. Hmm. Well, there's something over there. Oh, here's a trail. Let's see where it leads. Come on, Tom Tom. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> What's wrong, boy? You're not afraid of the dark, are you? It'll be an adventure. I've got snacks. <laughs> I think it will be fabulous fun to sleep under the stars. We don't need the tent unless... Unless what? You know, if uh, there might be, or like, if there might, if any kind of, well, if a sort of creepy kind of creature happened to be around. Now, we can't think like that or we'll never win the challenge. We're gonna be the bravest of the brave, are we not? Uh, sure, but some distraction would be nice. How about we sing a campfire song? It might hear us. It? Maybe we should turn out the light so it doesn't see us. Hmm. 
Hey, what happened to that light? <clears throat> Don't worry, boy. We'll just follow this path. Uh, this is the life. It is. <gasps> Wanna roast marshmallows? Okay, sure. Anything to take my mind off. Whatever might be out there. In the dark. Help me find some sticks for the marshmallows. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Here's a good one. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> oh, strawberry. I'm certain I just saw a creepy creature pass by a minute ago. Are you certain? Uh, sort of certain. A creepy creature. Well, what did it look like? Well, I didn't really see it, I guess. Could it have been something else? Like maybe still a creature, but not a creepy one? For example, could it have been a bunny rabbit? Oh. it could have been a creature that is not creepy, perhaps. Well then, let's get roasting. See, <laughs> where did the marshmallows go? Hmm. Popcake, Hannah. <laughs> did you take the marshmallows? <laughs> they didn't take them. Hmm. Hmm. Weird. Yeah. Running out of juice. <sighs> but that's okay. More adventure in the dark. Snack time. Yay! Good one, Orange. I'm having a very good time. I'm actually not scared at all. Me neither. <laughs> Wandering off, please. Where are you? Down here. Where'd it go? I don't know. It's like it just got swallowed up. Swallowed up? You know, disappeared. Swallowed up by what? Oh, I, I didn't mean it that way. But you said it. Y you must have had a reason, a, a feeling. No, it's just a way of saying went missing, you know. I didn't mean I really thought something actually, you know, ate our horseshoe. I mean, who would eat a horseshoe anyway? Hmm. A creepy creature, that's who. How do you know creepy creatures don't love horseshoes? <laughs> <laughs> so silly. <laughs> I know. <laughs> did, did, did you hear that? Sounds like... Something eating a horseshoe. Mm. <laughs> Those are good. Where is Blue Bandit? I think she's to the right of her flag. Maybe one of us should go back and guard our flag. That's not, I mean... Is that really fair? Because there's only one of her and two of us. She didn't say we couldn't split up. Okay, but I don't want to be alone. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Uh-huh. Hey, Blue Bandit is making a move for our flag. Let's get hers. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> we captured your flag. I captured your flag. It's a tie! I was sure one of you was gonna ambush me over there on your side. <laughs> that was so fun. Let's do a tiebreaker. Definitely. Hot chocolate break first! Yum! Great idea. <laughs> Excuse me, Chiffon. Hot chocolate time. Two 
adventure, to bravery, to the wild outdoors. Woo! <sighs> well, ready for another game? Yup. Sure. Where are the flags? Guys, guys, calm down. I gobbled our horseshoe. We gotta get out of here. It stole our flag. Right under our noses. It's too spooky out here. Someone or something is trying to sabotage our camp out. Well, let's calm down and just review the facts. Fact. Our horseshoes got eaten. Eaten? Well, they definitely disappeared. Our capture the flag flags disappeared also. Mm -hmm. And our marshmallows and roasting sticks did go missing too. Except this one. Ooh, just let that creepy creature try and take this one. <laughs> That's the spirit, Lemon. We may have a thief among us, but why should we let that spoil our camp out? Let's make it part of the challenge. Hmm. Staying out here with a creepy creature thief is challenge enough. I'm thinking, instead of which team can stay out here the longest, which team can catch the culprit? Hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you catch a creepy creature horseshoe eater? Well, I guess it's up to your team. Hmm. <gasps> I've got it! What do you say? You're right, Strawberry. No one is gonna stop me from having a roasted marshmallow. <laughs> You're right, Lemon. Let's capture that marshmallow thief. She's gonna creep past this. <gasps> oh, Marmalade! How did you get out of here? You're supposed to stay in the tent. What was that? Come on, we'll find out. I can't sleep. Me neither. I'm too excited. I hope we catch the creepy creature. I'm thirsty. Want some water? I'm having a hot chocolate craving. Oh, why are we whispering? <laughs> Blueberry, cherry, and raspberry have hot chocolate. They do? Three whole thermoses of it. I'm going to go get some. <laughs> Careful not to get caught in our creature trap. <laughs> Wouldn't that be embarrassing? Getting caught in our own trap. <laughs> What is it? I forgot to give the other teams their thermoses of hot chocolate. I'm gonna go take it to them. That's nice of you. Want me to come with you? Well, who's gonna stay here with me? You have the puppies and a whole moat to guard you. It's okay, Cherry. I'll take Scouty. Come on, Scouty. Come on, boy. Walk. Go for a walk. Um, um. Drawbridge, milady. Why, thank you. Don't mind if I do. You can do it, Scouty. Hmm. Let's check that out. I don't hear the whistling anymore. Now which way do we go? Ah! Let's get out of here. <sighs> Let's 
something, do you? I brought you hot chocolate. Strawberry, I got caught in their moat. Huh, I feel shortchanged. We haven't caught anything at all. Ah! Help, help, help me. Oh, great galloping gooseberries. <gasps> if I didn't know better, I'd say that sounded like... Huckleberry. What are you doing in our creature trap? Not much. What are you doing here? I was delivering pups for adoption, and I thought I'd stop by and say hi, and then the lights all went out, and, well, <laughs> I got lost. <laughs> <laughs> We're having some juice power problems in Berry Bitty City. How about setting me free? I don't know. Have you been stealing our marshmallows? And our horseshoes? And our capture the flag flags? Huh? Okay, so here's my plan. We all pretend to go to sleep, and we leave Lemon's stick. And when the culprit steals it, we'll hear the bells and... Ooh! Mystery solved! This is so exciting! I don't know if I can pretend to be asleep, I'm so excited! <laughs> people, people, remember our acting lessons. Just relax your faces. What? Where? Oh, hey, girls! Wake up! The stick! The stick! My marshmallow stick! Stop! Please! Wait! Listen! What do you think it is? My... I hope it's not a creature that's too... creepy! Hurry! It's getting away! It's heading for home! <laughs> Marmalade! What in the berry bitty world are you doing? <gasps> Did you hear that sound? This is the source of our power problem. <laughs> Where you've been putting everything. <laughs> it was the fountain clog that bungled up the juice berry power grid. Problem solved. Yeah! <laughs> Aw, I hope this doesn't mean the end of our.
our camp out. Of course not. We haven't roasted marshmallows yet. <laughs> <laughs> is in charge of the Wanderberry hunt. And you're the Berry Fest princess this year, so you tell us where to look. Lead on, oh fearless leader! <laughs> Very well, faithful berry hunters! As your most leaderly leader, I hereby decree we look... Hmm, um, how about over that way? Begging the princess's pardon, but the really amazing plants grow over by the creek. I bet it's that way. I read somewhere that Wanderberries like shade. I say we check under those tall flowers. <laughs> I'm so sure we'll find it hiding in there somewhere. Wanderberries need sun. It's gotta be over there. <laughs> Guess they all have their own ideas, huh? I have a feeling we'll find it over here. Just a hunch, but that's what my heart's telling me. Come on, you two. <laughs> okay, Custard, Popcake. Keep your eyes open. Only one Wanderberry plant grows at a time. And it could be anywhere. Could be right under our noses. <laughs> oh! <laughs> there it is. The one and only, one of a kind, <gasps> Wanderberry. Isn't it the most very beautiful thing you've ever seen? Careful, Pupcake. This berry is going to be our dessert at the Berry Fest feast tomorrow. <laughs> Whoa! Are you all right, Berry Kim Blue? Uh, yes, uh, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Uh, had a little stumble, took a little tumble, as I was looking for. <sighs> but you found it. Oh, my, 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 yes, yes, yes. A fine specimen this year. About the biggest I've ever seen. Oh, the color so rich. The shape just so... The texture. Oh, amazing. Oh, and the aroma. Oh, yes. Perfect in every way. Oh, Custard, no. Yes, Pat, we must take care. There is but one of these delicious, nutritious berries at any given time. And how fitting that you, our new Berry Fest princess, should have found it. Found it? Found it? Who found it? Strawberry! Strawberry found it! <laughs> Look at it! Isn't it something? Unbelievable! It's incredible! Oh! Oh, oh, oh yeah! Let me get it! Let me get it! Let me get it! Now, now! You know the tradition. It's the Berry Fest Princess who plucks the berry. Oh, I knew that. Didn't you know that? I wanted yeah, to see yeah, if you yeah, sure. yeah. did. <laughs> huh? Princess Strawberry? I'd be honored. Mm. Oh, harder! You can do it! Strawberry! Oh. Give it a good day! Oh, that's it! At this moment, a new Wanderberry is springing up somewhere. 
Could it be here, or there, or there? We never ever know quite where. This thing's pretty heavy. It's gonna take all of us working together to get it back. Is everyone ready? Ready! Uh, Miss Shortcake? <gasps> What's the matter? Did you hear that? Uh, I didn't hear anything. Me neither. Me neither either. But listen. Very close. Oh, there it is again. How very beautiful. Oh, quite a lovely sound. I still don't hear anything. I hear my stomach growling. Oh, just thinking about our picnic tomorrow and having this berry for dessert. Oh, it stopped. I wonder why. All I know is we have to get this berry back. Uh, you're right, Orange Blossom. Let's get moving. Hee! Ho! Hee! Ho! Hee! Ho! Hee! Ho! And heave! And ho! Oh, no! Quick, get the cards! Oh! We get the berry back now. Yeah. What'll we do, a oh, wise leader? Just gonna have to carry it back, I guess. <sighs> that thing must weigh at least a lot. We can do it together. Come on, everybody, grab hold. Lift with your legs. Okay, guys. Count to three. One, two, three. Better hurry. It's getting dark. Yeah. Can't leave it way out here. Gotta get it back tonight. Right. Uh, we have a tradition to keep, you know? right? We should keep moving, right? Oh, it is tradition, <laughs> but you are the very best princess and this decision is yours to make. I know everyone is very tired. We're having the picnic here tomorrow. That's true. So we just have to bring it back. Yeah, I guess it'll be okay. Do you hear that? It sounds somehow different now. Almost like something's wrong. Maybe we should go look for it to make sure it's all right. Strawberry, strawberry, strawberry! It's a disaster! Disaster, disaster! What is? What's the matter? What's wrong? Oh, come on and see. You tell me what. <gasps> oh no! Is everything all right? The berry kids tell me that. Oh, oh, my! We've been robbed by rabbits, burgled by bunnies, and they ate almost every last berry bit. Oh, I was really looking forward to a big berry dessert this afternoon. It just won't be the Berry Fest feast without it. Yeah, it's a...
tradition. When the old one disappeared, a new one popped up. Somewhere, right, Barry Kim Bloom? Oh, yes, uh, that's true. Quite true. Oh, right. We'll have a Wonderberry after all. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go find it. I think there's something wrong with that bird. I think it needs me. I think we need you. You know, she's right. There's only about a ton of things to do around here. And since you're the Berry Fest princess this year, you're in charge of everything. You have to judge the flower show. And you need to help with the Berrykin Band concert. And there's the whole Berry Fest feast to plan. And you can't do anything till we find another Wanderberry? You're the leader. You have to decide what we do next. All right, all right. I will decide, Orange Blossom. You help the Berry Kim Band set up for their concert. Will do. Lemon Meringue, you get the flower show set up and pick the top three for me. I'm on it. Raspberry Tort, Plum Pudding, Blueberry Muffin. You'll help me get the food ready for the feast. And you. Yes. I want you to go look for the new Wanderberry, okay? Woo-hoo! Okay! <laughs> Forty-six and forty-seven. Right. Need about another dozen. All done with the flowers. Need any help in here? Oh, we'd love some help with the sandwiches. The fairy can dance, ready to go. Can I help you? We can use all the help we can get. You and I can work on the salad, Orange Blossom. See? We're going to be fine. As long as we work together, nothing can stop us. <gasps> Did you find the new Wanderberry? We looked everywhere. Two times. No, three. We, we couldn't, couldn't find it. And we're as sorry as can be. <sighs> oh, no. How can we possibly have the Berry Fest feast without the Wanderberry? It's almost time for the picnic. You still have to pick a winner at the flower show. And there's the band concert, too. So what are we going to do, Strawberry? What are you going to do, Strawberry? You're the leader here. Yeah. Tell us, Strawberry. Well, what's going to happen? What do we do? Yeah, what? I don't know. I need a minute to think by myself. Was it just me, or did she seem a little stressed? Ugh, I have no clue what to do. It's all just oh, too much. Oh, there it is again. It's coming from over there, isn't it? It sounds like it's having some real trouble. I better go check on it. Oh, but they're waiting for me back there. What should I do? It's so hard to decide. It's never easy, is it? Oh, I want to make everybody happy, but they all want something different. I can't decide who to listen to first. Oh, you'll do the right thing. Don't worry that the others might disagree with you. Just listen to your heart, Strawberry Shortcake. You have a very good one, you know. Thank you. I'll tell your friends that you need a few minutes. I know what I have to do. I have to find that bird, but oh, which way now? Do you think it sounds weaker? Seems like it's coming from this way. Come on, you two, let's hurry. I still hear it. It's up here somewhere, I'm sure. You can do it, Pupcake. There you go, come on now. I think we're getting closer. Oh, I don't hear it anymore. Do you? Where could it be? 
What is it, Custard? Oh, you found the Wanderberry! It's smaller than the other one, but it's still very beautiful. I'll be careful not to lose this one. Strawberry! You found it! Oh, we were worried about you. Didn't know you were out here finding the Wanderberry all by yourself. Lucky for us, you're the Berry Fest princess this year. Come on, let's get it back to town. In just a moment. Uh, but why not now? Because first, I have to find that bird. Do you know where it is, Pupcake? <laughs> there it is! Oh, poor little fella. Oh my, this sweet little thing. What's the matter with it? I'm not sure. Oh dear, it's all tangled up. Can you get it loose, Strawberry? I think so. There, you're free. Go on, little birdie. You fly away now. We have to get this berry back home. Uh, Strawberry, you coming? Something's still wrong. Oh, it can't fly. Why not? I don't know. Uh, maybe it, it hurt its wing. Oh, we better leave it here and, and get a doctor. Or we could build a stretcher and carry it back to town. Yeah, those are very good ideas, but... What is it? Are you hungry? Uh, Strawberry? That's for the feast, remember? Let's see if it wants some. Does that make you feel better? I have some more. Oh, well, uh, uh, don't give it all. We can find some seeds or something. But this is helping. It's a very special plant. The Wonderberry is especially nutritious. If we don't get the berry back for the feast, everybody's gonna be really disappointed. Well, if they are, I'm sorry. But this is the right thing to do. I know it is. But how can you be so sure? I can't be completely sure, but I have to make what I feel is the best decision and go with it. I guess that's what being in charge is about. I've considered everybody's ideas, but now I have to do what I feel is right, even if it doesn't please everyone. You can't make a better decision than that. It is pretty, isn't it? Yeah, kind of beautiful. Here, little fella. That berry was just what it needed. I'm glad we listened to you, Strawberry. Otherwise, we never would have made up our minds on what to do. <laughs> That's why you're the leader, because you know how to stick with a good choice, even if it wasn't what the rest of us wanted. Thanks, guys. Strawberry! It's wonderful! What? What is it? Guess we're having a very fest feast after all. Is everybody ready for dessert? <laughs> I think there's enough to go around. But first, first, my friends, let's thank our hostess, our very fest princess, for this wonderful feast. Thank you, everybody. I'm just glad that... that... What's the matter, Strawberry? You speechless? No. Listen. That's the song it was singing the first time I heard it. No. I think it's a little different. I think this song is a song meant for you. True friends last forever. Forever friends stay strong.
<laughs> the whole town's gonna show up right here for the Glimmerberry Gathering. So we want this place spotless. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, everybody, look lively. Look lively. <laughs> Come on, let's move it, move it, move it, folks. I'll get it. Don't need any help. I can do it. Oh, we're working on this together. <laughs> season of the year. Okay now, let's make this whole place sparkle. first frost. <laughs> yes, here it is. It tells all about the first winter in Berry Bitty City. I bet everybody would love to hear it again. I'll read it here in the cafe and invite everyone in Berry Bitty City. Come on, you two can help. So, one of a kind. Well, thanks. I've been putting my whole heart into this entire collection. <laughs> you outdo yourself every year, Raspberry. I just feel, what's the point of doing something unless it's the best? So, I'm not stopping till I get it totally, completely, absolutely right. Like you said, I really want to make something original. One of a kind, never been seen before. Well, come on, Custard and Pupcake. We better let Raspberry work. Oh, I'm having a reading tonight at the cafe. I'd really like it if you could come. Huh? Oh, oh yes, of course. Mm, I'll be there. Pupcake. <laughs> Come! Oh, hi, Strawberry! Hi, Strawberry! Glad you could make it! Oh, thanks, 
for coming. Come on in. Take a seat anywhere you like. Oh, I'm so looking forward to this strawberry. In the old days, this was my favorite part of First Frost. This is a very fun time of year, with celebrations and the Glimmerberry Ball and Glimmerberry Gathering. But sometimes, maybe we forget how important it is. That's why we always used to read this book, The Great Glimmerberry Gathering. It tells the story of the very first First Frost. Long ago, when Berry Bitty City was a very bitty place, everyone worked hard to help the new town grow. Together, they planted the seeds that would become the beautiful, bountiful berry grove. Oh. But the first winter of that first year was not easy. The weather turned quite cold. Some of the townsfolk were trapped in their houses by snowdrifts, and others had to dig them out. Some townsfolk ran low on food they stored for winters, and others shared what they had. As the days went by, it only grew colder. <gasps> and colder. And colder still. It looked like the young berry plants might die. That's when the first glimmerberry was carved and made into a beautiful glowing lantern because it was important to... Wow! They've been carving glimmer berries that long? That's right, for many years. <laughs> I have no <laughs> idea. Me and so today, when we take the carved berries to the I field, never knew there was a, a real reason for it. Uh, I thought we did it because it's fun. It is fun, but it's also important because... This year, I'm going to carve the most beautiful berry ever. Of course, we have to remember why we carve the berries. See, in the story, it says... Oh, oh. I'm going to start work on my daring design right now. Oh, me too, me too. But don't you want to hear the rest of it? Oh, yeah, but I really want to get working on some designs. Well, why wait till the last minute? I am going to absolutely outdo myself this year. Great idea. Let's hurry. Time's wasted. Gotta get busy. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. But, um... Oh. I guess... They didn't think the story was so important. I'm sorry, Princess Berrykin. Maybe the time wasn't right. But someday, Strawberry, you'll help them see the real reason for the gathering. I know you will. <sighs> hmm. Good. But not good enough. Not original, one of a kind, never been seen before enough. Hmm, I'm going to put my whole heart into this one. It's got to be the greatest, most beautiful. Hmm, no, that's not it. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! I think I'm on to something. A little bit more here, a little bit less there. That's it! I bet no one has ever seen a design like this before. <laughs> Glimmerberry design? No. I mean, maybe? I mean, I don't know. I mean, why? I was just asking. I didn't see it. Not even for half a second? Well, maybe half a half second, but that's not why I stopped by. <laughs> I just want it to be a surprise. <laughs> I understand. I want my design to be a surprise, too. I just wanted to ask if I could borrow some drawing paper so I can make my Glimmerberry design. I have it in my head, but if I don't draw it soon, it might disappear. <laughs> of course. That's how my idea came to me. It just seemed to magically pop into my head. <laughs> Here you are. Ooh, this one seems pretty good. Nice shape, right size. I think I'll go for it. How about you, Strawberry? Any luck? I'm leaning toward this one. What do you think? It's a beauty, all right. Huh? Hey, Raspberry, have you picked a Glimmerberry to carve for the gathering? Oh, uh, yes, 
I have. And I better hurry home to carve it right now. <laughs> what was that all about? She wants her berry to be a big surprise. Over to strawberries. We're going to show each other our glimmerberry designs. Are you coming, Raspberry? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm certainly sure not going to show anybody my design until my berry is carved. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh, that's yeah. cool. I think nice. Can I go first? Can I, please? Sure, Plum. Go ahead. It took a while to get it just the way I wanted it. But what do you think? <gasps> it's oh, almost exactly like mine. That's fantastic, Plum. Check this out. I did one sort of like. Hey, I did too. What do you know? Me too. Wonder how that happened. It happened because Orange copied my drawing. But, but, Raspberry, I haven't even seen your drawing. Uh, well, of course not. Then how could she have copied it? Uh, well, she saw blueberries, and blueberries saw plums, and plums saw lemons, and lemon saw mine. You're just, uh, joking. Right, Raspberry? <laughs> I do not think this is a joke. Now, let's stay calm and figure this out. I worked very hard on that design. I wanted to make something special and totally original for the Glimmerberry Gathering. I put my whole heart into it. I'm sure there's a very simple explanation. Of course there is. Everybody copied me. You can count me out. I'm not going to carve a Glimmerberry this year. But, Raspberry, we need you. We can't have the Glimmerberry Gathering unless... everybody's there. You know, I don't like to say this, but maybe Raspberry's right. Maybe Orange did copy my sketch. I didn't want to say anything either, but I was thinking Lemon might have been copying too. I hate to even think it, but I have a feeling maybe Plum did copy my sketch. Uh, Strawberry? We have a little problem. I'm starting to think that there has been some copying going on. Oh, Plum, really? Blueberry was hanging around my place that day and... I heard that. Am I being accused of copying? Look, I'm just saying, but it was Orange who copied me. I didn't copy anybody. Are you sure it wasn't you who copied me? Now, come on, everybody. Let's not get carried away. Carried away with what? We're talking about copying. Oh, I did it. Copy. Girls, who's copying? Uh, girls, we're talking about copying. Who's copying? Who? And one accused the other, and on and on it went, and now... No one wants to carve berries. And without everyone cooperating together, well, the gathering just cannot be. Oh, I'm afraid we'll have to cancel the celebration. Thanks, Custard. Oh, Cupcake. I know you want to help, but there's nothing we can do. Won't be needing this anymore. what to do. <laughs> meeting! Meeting time! Meeting at the cafe! Blueberry, raspberry, orange, lemon, everybody! Come on over as soon as you can! Tell everybody! Anybody! Everybody! Important meeting right now! What's this all about, Strawberry? Yeah! What's so important we had to run over here? I wanted you to hear the rest of the Glimmerberry Gathering. We never got to finish. 
But why? There's not going to be a gathering this year. Please, everybody, just stay and listen. When I'm done, I think you'll understand. Custard, the lights. <laughs> When that coldest of cold winters hit Berry Bitty City, the whole community worked hard to save the newly planted grove. But the weather kept growing harsher, and they knew the young plants weren't going to make it. Then, the littlest berrykin had an idea. We can carve out the frozen berries we do have, he said. And we can put glow bugs in them. Why would we do that? the others asked. If we took them to the groves, he explained, they might keep the plants warm. At first, they only laughed at the little berrykin, but then they understood. It was their only hope. If the plants didn't make it, they'd have no food to eat and no power to run the little city. So they worked together and took the glowing berries into the field. <laughs> and it worked! The plants were saved but only because every single person in Berry Bitty City brought a lantern to help warm the berry plants. The people of Berry Bitty City saw that they had to depend upon each other, the way they depend on the glimmer berries. And so we celebrate the glimmer berry gathering every winter. Every person in Berry Bitty City carves a frozen <laughs> berry lantern. The whole town comes together and lights their lanterns in a circle. It is a promise everyone makes that the community will come together and help each other in the hard winter days to come. Friends helping friends. And that is what the gathering is really all about. Oh, oh my. I've really been acting so very silly. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you. Do you see this? Here. Wait, that's, that's, that's my design. That's right. And I drew one just like it. Hey, me too. So did I. We all did. I think you all saw it when I opened the box, but you didn't realize you'd seen it. That's how you came up with the same design. We all did. Oh, then, then, I accused you all of copying me when you didn't. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you can kind of, sort of, oh, forgive me. Well, sure, Raspberry. If you can forgive me. And me. Me too. I think we all overreacted. Oh, look, everybody. It's getting really frosty outside. I bet the berries are very frozen and perfect for carving. You had better hurry if you're going to get the glimmer berries carved in time. <laughs> Let's, do Let's do it! it. Come Let's on! Do it. Come on, Come on everybody! How's this looking? Awesome! How about this one? Looking good, Orange. Uh, you missed a little spot there. Is everybody just about done? Yeah! Oh, give me another oh, second! Oh, oh. Give me another second! I'll let him know it's time. Could you please tell the glow bugs we're ready? Thank you! When things aren't looking up And it seems you're out of luck Just think behind the clouds could be a beauty
going on? Oh, hi, Apple. What's with all the excitement? I haven't heard this much cheering since I saw the boys and Berry Boys perform live in Sugar Apple City. Today's the Big Berry Ball Championship. Berry Bitty Bombers! Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Berry Ball. <laughs> of course. <laughs> You've been all over the world and never heard of Berry Ball? I've heard of Bean Ball, Banana Ball, Broccoli Ball. I don't personally care for Broccoli Ball. Why, I even once played Bok Choy Ball in the jungles of Plantain Province. And let me tell you. <laughs> Maybe later. But if you've never heard of Berry Ball, then you're in for a treat. Look. <laughs> is just a practice game. Wait till tonight when they play for the championship. This town is gonna go gaga! Callum, gooseberries! Berry ball is a blast! I wanna play! Apple, wait! All right, team, huddle up! Tonight's the night we have dreamed of all our lives. Why, since I was just a wee barrican and stood ankle high to a baby grasshopper. And seriously, I did that on a regular basis. Excuse me? I have looked up and wondered to the towering berry ball heroes of the past. I mean, sure, they weren't actually all that tall, but... Excuse me? My point is that all our lives, we've been waiting, practicing, dreaming about this day. Remember your training team. Remember your dreams. And let's mash our opponents to a pulp! Yeah! <laughs> What is such a big emergency that you had to interrupt my big speech? I want to play! A video of me making a winning goal would look great on my very best bits page. Oh, uh, well, I'm sorry, Apple, but... Now I know what you're thinking. She talks tall, but can she move the ball? Well, <laughs> you are looking at the all-time high scorer in fig football at the Mount Philbert Championship. But... A quarterback Kiwi kickball in the Kumquat Keys? But... Why, I was even goalie once for the Jelly City Jammers! It's not that. You see, berry ball is for barricans only. It is? I'm sorry, but you just can't play. I can't? That's the rules. I don't make them. I just enforce them, and... Barrican Brand! You call that hustle? I've seen slugs with better hustle! Sorry, Apple. I gotta... That is not the Berry Bitty Bomber way! Okay. I guess I'll just stay out of the way. Mosey off. <laughs> this is me. Sleeping. It's so hard to think about anything but Berry Ball. I'm so excited. I know. But meanwhile, we've got a full day of things to finish off. You're right. I've got to concentrate. This will not be easy. You guys ready to dance? <sighs> as ready as we'll ever be. Sweet sugar snap peas. Dancing? I love dancing. Oh, can I dance with you guys, huh? Um, well... I mean, I've danced a lot of places, but never here. A video of me dancing Berry Bitty City style would sure look great on my Berry Best Bits page. You see, Apple, we're not just dancing. This is a ballet class. And I know what you're thinking. Got the grooves, but does she know the moves? Well, I once danced with the Melon Men of Mango Mesa. It was a bright, moonlit night on the moors of Mango Mesa. The bongo beans had just begun beating the boogie-woogie beat when all of a sudden, from out of nowhere, I just... <gasps> hey, wait up! I'm sure you're a great dancer, Apple. It's just... well, this is really going to be a challenge. See, this is a black ribbon ballet class. It's the highest level. We've all had to work our way up. Ah, <laughs> fiddle fruit. I can figure out anything. This'll be a piece of pie. Or easy as cake. Oh, you know what I mean. And we'll arabesque, glissade, tour jeté, Pas de beret, pirouette, and chenet off. Got it? 
Errol who? Arabesque. Glissad. Tourjette. Pas de beret. Pirouette. And chene. And next. You're welcome to try my other ballet class. It starts right after this one. Oh, yeah. What color ribbon do they wear? Baby blue. <laughs> Stuck in a class with a bunch of babies. Don't be old baby blue ribbon. Prance and peach pits. I've danced all over the world, but no, I can't dance with the big kids. Oh, goodness, no! Please, no walking on the berry ball field, if you don't mind, dear. Oh, sorry, Berry Can Bloom. I didn't mean uh, to. Now, off you go now. <laughs> Everyone will be showing up today, expecting my field to be pristine. I thought they were showing up to watch the berry ball game. Oh, that too, I suppose. Uh, but please, steer clear, my dear. Uh, shoes leave footprints. Unless you've got some kind of magic shoes. <laughs> magic shoes. Yeah, right. Wait a minute. Magic shoes! your groove from the Berry Web's very biggest database of dance moves. So get up, my little groove booties. Let the boogie fever flow through you. Strawberry said I could live with her does not mean we can walk all over her furniture. And now, for the final test. Woohoo! Bye-bye, Baby Blue. Just wait till they see me now. You. You're a regular dance master. Yeah, that was awesome. But how'd you get so good so quickly? Oh, well, uh, I was so busy thinking about Mango Mesa, I forgot all these sweet skills I picked up in, uh, Dancelvania. Yeah, and I hadn't stretched yet, see? <laughs> and you really can't dance without stretching, am I right? Oh, well, got more dancing to do. Can't stop till you drop, as we dancers always say. viewers on my Very Best Bits page. Today I'm in the very exciting Berry Bitty City, where I'm bringing you all the latest and greatest dance moves. Just watch me go! <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. I got the moves. Look at me, I'm a dancing machine. <laughs> Woohoo! They love me. <sighs> that's enough for now. Dancing is fun, but it sure can be exhausting. Now, all I gotta do is go home and upload this video to my page, and I'll be a very bitty worldwide sensation!
Mission. Okay, looking good. Now to upload my smooth moves and post them on my site. Hey, wait! Stop that, you groove booties! It's not even music! shoes, but shoes that were dancing? Uh, well... Apple. Okay. I made some groove booties to help me dance better. I didn't want to dance with the baby berrykins. I wanted to dance with you guys. Only, I kind of took a shortcut. But those shoes aren't even on your feet. Yeah, they kind of do their own thing when they hear a beat. Actually, it's pretty impressive when you think about it. I mean, boy, those things can find a beat in anything. Reminds me of the bouncing blueberries of Grapefruit Grotto. Apple, the shoes! Oh, yeah! My new sprinkler timer, you see. My playing field will get just the perfect amount of tender, loving care it deserves. Oh, goodness, no! Not of my beautiful grass! <laughs> say beneath the peaks of Mount Kiliman Jelly Jar. Worry? Why worry? Our troubles are all behind us. This 
is where it all happens, fellas. Let's score those goals! There they go! Second quarter! Look! Here comes Barry Kim Bruce! Lucky Logan Berries. It's half time. Uh oh, that means half time show. <laughs> this isn't funny. My lifelong dream is falling apart. What do we do? What do we do? We need to figure out a way to get those dancing booties from Barry and Bruce and turn them off. Oh, Mushmelon! I'm cured! <laughs> oh, don't worry. You see, I did that dance on purpose. Phew! I'm sorry my groove booties ruined your big game, Barry Can Bruce. No harm done. The score is even and we've got half a game to go. And it's time to go! Thanks for your help, Strawberry. No problem. But we better keep these on ice. ruined it. Well, hopefully you learned your lesson. All I wanted to do was what everyone else was doing. And, okay, maybe show off a little along the way. Come back to dance class. I think this time you'll like it. With all those babies? No way! I know the baby blue class isn't advanced enough for you, so I decided to create a new class between beginner and advanced. Hot pink! Oh, boy! Sour Sweet and Blueberry have already signed up. This is gonna be great! I'm gonna start practicing my dance moves for real right away. Well, the 
excitement's over. I've got a whole year to heal this poor field and get the grass ready for the next game. Batter basics and basics of berry flawless baking. I am certain you are prepared for today's class. Creative cupcaking. <laughs> are you ready to cupcake? Yeah. Let's do it. Woohoo! On. I've got our ingredients: flour, sugar, baking powder, all this fresh strawberry jam. So let the baking begin. Very creative. Orange is putting mint leaves and chocolate chips in her batter for a mint chip cupcake creation. I'm putting real bits of strawberry in my cupcake to make it extra moist and tasty. How about you, Lemon? I'm replacing some of the oil in mine with applesauce. Adds flavor. Mmm, <laughs> an apple fragrance. Mmm. <sighs> Blueberry, how are you being cupcake creative today? I'm adding ground zucchini. <laughs> Well, I read about it in a cupcaking blog. It's good. It'll taste like nuts and cinnamon. I promise. Hey, what's that? I wonder what's going on. I don't know. Hey, look! What is it? I have no idea. It's just a little something I call the Sparkle Straw Water Pine Berry. Wow! I was tinkering with some pollen, you see, and selecting seeds, and oh, I don't want to bore you. Anyway, would you like a taste? Yes! Yes! Goodness. Well, all right then. Everyone step up. Go. Here's a glass. And one for you. Uh, pass this one down, won't you? Uh, carry on. Yes, there's another. Enjoy. Mmm. It's delicious. It tastes like kind of a, I don't know, maybe watermelon? Grape. No. Oh, uh, strawberry. And yes, pineapple. I've never tasted anything like it. Oh, and it's a scent sensation. I've got to fashion a fragrance after it for my salon. Oh, Princess Berrykin, uh, please try some. Ahem. This sparkle straw water pine berry is the finest achievement in berry culture I have ever witnessed. To mark this occasion, I hereby declare tomorrow Berrykin Blue! Day with a ceremony in his honor. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, why, thank you. It's really hardly necessary. It's the least we can do, Barrack and Bloom, after all you do for us. When plants get sick, you always figure out a way to make them better. And where would we be without your berry bitty veggies? It's all part of my job. Oh, well, it's a lovely gesture, I suppose. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I must tend to my Betty Orchard. Oh, he's so humble. Which means it'll be all the more fun to surprise him with something really nice on his special day. Ooh, what a great idea! What can we do that would be very special? Well, I'll ask Plum to help me decorate the gazebo. And I'll bet Sherry could handle the music. Wow, Raspberry, that's a great idea. Perfect, Raspberry. I love it. But what about the rest of us? We need to do something really special. I know. Let's each make him a cupcake. We can make them with the delicious flavors from all the fruits he grows. Oh, that'll be fun. That's perfect. Great idea, Strawberry. Let's get back to baking. Barrack and Bloom supplies all the Berry Bitty produce for my store, so I want to make him the most special cupcake ever. 
how to make this cupcake special for Barrican Bloom. Oh, I know! I'll fill the cupcake with a tablespoon of delicious strawberry jam. Oh no, my jam! Where'd it go? Cupcake? Oh, those were all the jars I had. Oh, you're gonna have a tummy ache for sure. And I'm gonna have to restock all the jam in my cafe. Hello? Orange? Just a minute! <coughs> oh, Orange? Are you all right back there? I'm fine! I'm just making my cupcake. Oh, okay. I need some strawberry jam. Help yourself! Thank you! Anytime, strawberry, and... Oh, my! I was gonna put some in my cupcake, but I was completely out. Back to the kitchen I go. <coughs> it's me, Marmalade. <coughs> oh, bless you. Hmm, with all that jam, Strawberry must be making an enormous cupcake. Well, I can match that. Hi, Orange. Do you mind if I borrow some... sprinkles? Sure. Help yourself. I've got to get back to my cupcake. Are you okay? <coughs> I, uh, I'm fine. <coughs> All that flour for one cupcake? Oh. Oh. I've got some major rethinking to do. Blueberry? <coughs> oh, hi, Strawberry. What's new? Um, not much, I guess. Except you're dragging around a giant banana. It's for my cupcake. Your cupcake? Why don't you just use a bitty banana? I mean, you can't fit all that banana into a little cupcake. Who said anything about a little cupcake? You mean, exactly how big is your cupcake going to be? I don't know, but Orange is making a huge one. She's using bags and bags of flour. Oh, you must have just misunderstood. Look at my cupcake. It's normal sized. I'm sure she's baking one just like it. After all, how much cupcake can Barrican Bloom eat? Hi, guys. How about the cupcake I made for Barrican Bloom? Bouncing boysenberries, Orange. That's very gigantic. I know. <laughs> Isn't it great? Great? That's the hugest cupcake I've ever seen. Well, don't you think Barrick and Bloom deserves the most special cupcakes we can bake? Did someone mention my name? Yeah. Let's hide. It's Barrick and Bloom. Ah, there you are, Miss Strawberry. Oh, <laughs> yep, here we are. Doing nothing secret at all. That's right. Uh, not at all. We have nothing to hide. Did you ladies need me for something? I thought I heard my name. Nope, not me. Uh, not at all. Nuh-uh. Uh, you must have been someone else. Have a lovely day. Well, then, I suppose I'll be on my way, too. That is a very fine banana you have there, young lady. A very fine banana, indeed. Taking it out for some exercise. Come along, Waldo. Time to finish your walk. I never thought of exercising the produce. Or naming it. Hmm. I suppose Waldo is a lovely name for a banana. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> so long. See you around. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was too close. He almost found out our surprise. We've got to keep him away. How are we going to do that? I don't know. Keep him busy, I guess. But we're all too busy to keep him busy. We are, but I know someone who isn't. Wait, you want me to what? Just keep Barrick and Bloom busy. We can't let him see us making cupcakes. It'll spoil the surprise. We need a diversion. A diversion? That's a fancy way of saying distraction or keeping him busy. But 
How am I supposed to do that? I don't know. Think of something. You're both guys. Why don't you do guy things? Guy things? I don't know. Like what? You're the guy. Figure it out. Hello there. <gasps> Here he comes now. A very fine day to you, young ladies. Why, Mr. Huckleberry, what brings you to town? Uh, guy things. Like, uh, running <laughs> and shouting. Ah! What in the world? Oh, my stars! What an unexpected development! Well, that seemed kind of extreme. I hope Eric and Bloom will be okay. Sure he will. He's a guy. They like that stuff. What matters is that he's not around to see our cupcakes. About those cupcakes. Yes, about those cupcakes, Orange. That one you made was huge. That's right, and it wasn't that big. And I'm not going to make Barrack and Bloom just any old cupcake. He deserves something special. Yes, but what's important is... What's important is that if you make a huge cupcake, ours will seem kind of bitty in comparison. Good point. But really... All I know is that I'm not skimping on mine. <sighs> Well, it's up to you what kind of cupcake you want to make. But just remember, uh, there are a lot of things that make a cupcake great. Don't well, I... then, I'm going to have to redo mine. For Maybe example, I can you team don't up with love the ice cream or a dry well, cake. If blueberries are a bigger the cake cupcake, too, then mine will be bigger, salt. too. And the presentation. Oh, no. I have a feeling this is going to be the very biggest, very baddest bake-off ever. There. My friends might be baking colossal cupcakes, but I'm sure Barrick and Bloom will be more than happy with this one. Won't he? Oh, maybe Orange is right, Pupcake. Barrick and Bloom is special, so he deserves a really special cupcake. But how can I make a more special cupcake without getting carried away? <laughs> you may not have all the answers, but you sure are cute. <laughs> hey, that's it. I'll make a pupcake cupcake. <laughs> It'll be the cutest cupcake you've ever seen. Stay right there. Okay, now stay still. Oh, you're right, Pupcake. It's not what I had hoped for. But you didn't really help by moving around so much. <laughs> oh, now what am I going to do? Of course! Oh, Custard, please come back. It'll be fun! There! Now that's the perfect cupcake. Just one last touch. Whoa! What do you think? I had to change my recipe to make it this big. But isn't it the most special cupcake you've ever seen? All it needs is this cherry and... Plaster. Plaster? Well, I don't know how to make it delicious and bigger and stronger all at once. <gasps> hey! You guys are good with tools. Maybe you can help me. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I never baked anything before with plaster. <clears throat> I got four words for you. Frosting licking. Gorgeous! 
gorgeous. So, that activity is what you would refer to as zip lining? Wasn't it fun? Uh, well, I... Uh... It's just one of the many activities in the, uh, Gentlemen's Diversion Club. Yeah. Goodness, Mr. Huckleberry. This club seems quite rough and tumble. Only the roughest and tumblest for gentlemen like us. Uh, now, when was this club established? It's after me! Ah! It's very old and established. We better keep diverting. I know another diversion, which I know you'll enjoy. To the lake! Yeah! <sighs> the lake. What a wonderful suggestion. I can't think of a more tranquil spot to sit back and marvel at the glory of nature all around us. Yet still, I can't help but wonder why my feet are strapped to these boards. Oh, I knew he'd love water skiing. Looking good, Barry Kin Bloom. <laughs> well, you were anyway. Okay, another diversion. Think. I know. Are you certain that this is enjoyable? As enjoyable as anything else I could all of a sudden think of. Have fun! <laughs> Okay, now tackle me. Tackle you? I'm not even sure I know how to go about that. Is this necessary for the gentleman's diver diversion club? Yes, very necessary. <laughs> oh, uh, ah, do, whoa, do, whoa. Uh, duh. Oh dear, I, I do hope that wasn't too extreme. Are you all right? I'm fine. Hiya, Cherry. Just an hour to go till the big ceremony. All I need to do is put up a few more, you know, streamers, balloons, and more streamers, and then what in the very bitty world? I thought you guys were just making regular old cupcakes. But this, a giant beehive? A circus? A volcano? Well, the lava is strawberry jam, and the rocks are sugar. At least it should taste good. How could you all get so carried away? Well, I tried making a pupcake cupcake, but that didn't work. Then I tried a custard cupcake, and, well, that didn't work either. So uh, one thing led to another, and... Oh. Perhaps I've lost my focus on what's important here. Ready to see the most special cupcake? Bring it in, boys! It's huge! How did you even build it? I had a little help from Ed and Earl. Yep, <laughs> and we used only the finest spare parts and lumber, plus 50 yards of fencing wire. I, uh, <clears throat> I wouldn't taste the cake part. Oh, but the frosting's delicious. And wait till you see this. Guys? Well, what do you think? Isn't this the best cupcake you've ever seen? I don't know. Well, how come there's a fork in a gearbox? Uh, cause I was all done eating frosting. Look out! It's going out of <laughs> Enough competition. 
Let's work together to clean this mess up. Yeah! There we go. Good as new. So sad. <laughs> but at least I can still smell cupcakes. Cupcakes? Oh, dear. Never much cared for them. I'm more of a fruit and veggie man myself. Bear can bloom. Huckleberry, what... what happened to you? Well, it's like this. You see, we were jumping in mud puddles, and then we got kind of lost all night, and then we wandered into a brambleberry thicket and... Oh, the ceremony's starting. You better get up there. The royal rutabaga. I am deeply honored, Princess Mary Kit. And I am honored and full of gratitude to have this day named after me and, and this park. Oh, why, I've never seen this park so clean. However, I must say, the last day has been most unusual. Most unusual indeed. I'm not certain why I was invited into the Gentleman's Diversion Club, uh, but... It has been the best 24 hours of my life. Go, <laughs> oh, come here, you. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs>